Hi guys, my name is Joanna. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We're gonna continue on the decluttering train and tackle some other spaces in our house. I'm realizing that I'm never done decluttering. It's just a constant process. But now as things have gotten a little bit more simple in our house, when things come in, we can quickly send other things out and keep our house as simplified as we can. So we're gonna start with this bookshelf behind me and we're gonna use the container method to decide how much we can keep. Now I know if you are a book lover, your bookshelf might look way bigger than this. You might have multiple and that's okay. But we've decided for the small apartment that we're in that this is the bookshelf that all of our books need to fit on. We do have another bookshelf where our son's books go as well as some really special books that we're excited to read to him. So that's in a separate bookshelf. But here is where all of my books and my husband's books need to live. As we bring our new books in, a lot that we got for Christmas, which is awesome. As we bring our new books in, we're gonna decide if there's a book on the shelf that we can then take out. If there aren't any, and we would rather keep the books that we currently have, then that means that we need to pass on a new book. Even if it's something new we're bringing into our house, we still have to make sure it fits on this shelf. Before we do that, there are some things that just don't belong on the shelf, like Tylenol and some tissues, so I'm gonna take care of that and then we are gonna work through our stack of books and see what we wanna swap out and then what we're gonna donate. We're gonna take a quick scan and just see if there's anything in here that is an obvious donation. So something that we know we're done reading or we're not gonna read again, we don't wanna keep, and then that'll free up some space before we even get started with switching out the other books. I just want to show you guys something I found in this book. My husband is fine to pass this on, but we need to take out this, if it's still in here anyways. I, um, this is his boutonniere from our wedding. I think this is something that I would put in a memory bin, which I will share in a few videos from now, um, but I'm glad I caught that before we donated the book. Okay, so just by doing a quick scan and seeing if there is anything we could obviously get rid of, we definitely freed up some space on the shelf, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna go through with some new books and a couple others I've collected from around the house and see how we wanna fit the books on here. So Liam used these to study for his recent license, but he realizes that he doesn't actually need them. In the past, I would have said, oh, we should hang on to them, but they've served their purpose and hopefully someone else could use them. Okay, so we've gone through the bookshelf. There's actually a little bit of extra room. So if new books come in, we've got the space to do that. I really like this container concept because it just gives you boundaries around your stuff. Okay, so we're gonna tackle the upper cupboards of our kitchen today. There are some spices that really need to be organized and then a few things that I think we can get rid of. Also gonna share this awesome tip for dishes. If you don't like doing dishes like me, um, then I'm gonna tell you how to make sure you never have a giant pile of dishes, okay? So stay tuned for that. We're gonna put these spices in some jars and put some nice labels on them and I think it will just be easier to actually find the ones that you want couple of these. Let me know if you grew up with these as well. Do you know how to pronounce them? Uh, de de if you know, you can let us know. But yeah, tell us if you had these before. You've got two of these up there, honey. Do you want them? I want one. That's um, Derucha is, is uh, li licorice oil. Nice. So we'll throw yeah. out the almost done one? Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep this. I think I have had this for too long, almond butter, and Liam typically uses regular peanut butter, which I'll leave up there. And can you grab that, whatever that is up there? Actually gonna add this to the cleaning products. If you saw my last decluttering video, I definitely had some work to do under the sink, so this is gonna go under there. Okay, so I grabbed these little spice jars from the dollar store. It was $1.50 for three. I think they're gonna work really well. I didn't want to invest in some like nicer ones. I looked on Amazon and stuff like that, but we're gonna try out these dollar store ones. 
and see if it makes it a little bit easier to get to all the spices. So we have done a mug declutter, so I think we have a reasonable amount of mugs that comfortably fit. Though I'm noticing we've got about four Christmas mugs that we're kind of done using, and I want to put those with our Christmas stuff. These are like my favorites, um, but I don't really need them to kind of clutter our daily cupboard. Okay, on the third shelf is where we store the majority of our plates. Now this is kind of the secret that I have learned from the Minimal Mom, and that is to keep the majority of your plates away from your daily use plates. So we actually have five regular dinner plates and three, no, two smaller plates that we use on a daily basis because it's just my husband and myself and my son is using either his like high chair or a baby bowl. This ensures that we can never have a giant pile of dishes because once we are done using these five dishes, we have to do our dishes to have clean ones to be able to use. Of course, we still love to have people over, so we do have dishes for when we have a bigger group, but generally on a day-to-day -day basis, these are great. If you're like me, if you had the option of either washing a dish or pulling out a new one, you would pull out a new one because your girl does not like doing dishes but this kind of forces me to keep my dishes clean because I have a limited amount give it a try it's not gonna hurt to just put your other dishes in a different location so they don't get stuck in the regular you know day-to-day -day dishes but honestly this has been a huge help in helping us do our dishes every day and keep our kitchen under control again we're gonna use a little basket up here for my husband to put his coffee gadget he doesn't use on a regular basis so um, I can't get out to grab a basket today. We actually have a big snowstorm, but there will be one for coffee and then also for the magic bullet items. I'm just going to pull out stuff from this corner because I think there's a few things we can also get rid of. So I have these three vases. I'm going to see if they look good in the windowsill and maybe put a flower in them, but honestly, I haven't used them in a really long time. So if I can't find a use for them fairly quickly, then they'll get donated. We have a little bowl in here that doesn't get used. And we have some lids. I'm gonna see which one of these fit Liam's cups but these two definitely can I think go in the garbage because I don't we don't have the mugs for these lids anymore okay so this cupboard here holds our glasses and to be honest we're kind of in need of a few we have like three of these and then one with a handle and the one without a handle just broke so and then on these top shelves we had some more magic bullet cups which I'm gonna move over here and then we have some travel mugs. So I'm gonna keep those up here. A measuring cup. Now I'm keeping this up higher because my sweet little boy can get into the cupboard down here. I could put a childproof lock on it like I did under the sink. But for now, I'm gonna keep this up here because we don't have too, too many travel mugs and it fits okay up there. I hope that that was helpful. Hopefully you got some inspiration to go and tackle a space in your house. Honestly, decluttering, simplifying our house has made it so much easier to keep our house tidy and clean. I am not a naturally organized or naturally clean person, unfortunately, but this has been working so well for my family and I. I'm gonna continue making some decluttering videos. There are some other spaces that I've been putting off, finishing up, um, like my clothes and also um, my son's clothes. I'm definitely very attached to a lot of them, but I know I don't need to keep as many as I have. So if you're interested in seeing any more decluttering videos, consider subscribing and then we can hang out some more. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.
Wow. 